The wall sucks. <laughs> That's what everyone was saying at this location where we are rehabbing an apartment. Unlike YouTube testing, which, by the way, is fine in its own right, this is real life. And sometimes real life situations don't cooperate with some speed and torque testing video parameters. Is it fair to say DeWalt sucks after the poor performance of this older DeWalt DCD 995 20 volt Max XR released in 2013 with a 6 amp hour battery? Some of the longtime construction folks on this site thought so. Before you cast judgment on this video, my channel, or the folks at the site, please watch the video till the end and then provide your comments and your thumbs up or down. I'd appreciate it. All parties' identities have been hidden for their own protection <laughs> and at their request. There's a lot to dissect here, but let's start with the basic truth. It's not fair to judge a whole battery line or company on their poor performance of one tool. Yes, I hear you diehard DeWalt fans. This is not the latest or greatest hammer drill from DeWalt. Let's lay down the basic parameters of what happened here. At an undisclosed location, a union electrician with over 20 years experience showed up to the site with his DeWalt tools. The site, a building stronger than most ancient forts where the walls are sandwiched with the inside wall being made of brick, then a layer of concrete block, and on the outside, you guessed it, brick again. A formidable opponent for this DeWalt. We are drilling a 3 8 hole for network or telecom wire access. On the other side, we have a seemingly know-it-all network engineer. <laughs> you can guess who that is. With his old brush 2008 Makita LXT 18 volt BHP 452 hammer drill, preparing to make the needed hole, knowing well that he has done this many times before in similar buildings in the area. One more thing to note, many tradesmen don't have the latest and greatest tools. They try to run what they have to failure or replace the tools when lost or stolen. The electrician stops and says, put your Makita crap away, engineer. <laughs> he laughs out loud. <laughs> Let me show you what the DeWalt can do. At that very moment, the electrician reminisces of a beautiful time when Real Tool Reviews made a video talking about this very DeWalt DCD-995 and drilling through block like it was butter. His confidence increases when he sees that we have purchased a new Diablo 3 8 inch by 16 inch by 18 inch Rebarb Demon SDS plus 4 cutter full carbide hammer drill bit to ensure that we make short work of the masonry. He lets out a big belly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> when he sees that bit, he begins to drill and drill and drill and drill. After more than 10 minutes of drilling, he has gotten through the first portion of the brick, but can't go no more. The electrician is getting a bit embarrassed and continues to drill. The know-it-all engineer says, perhaps if you cycle the bit, Continue spinning it, but push in and out a few inches, allowing the bit to cool and giving the bit a chance to catch again. The electrician ignores the engineer and pushes onward harder, almost bending the bit. After much work, the electrician stops. He is tired. Most watching are saying, the wall sucks. It's crap. I'm so glad I buy Milwaukee. The engineer asks if he could give it a whirl. Everyone snickers. Some under their breath say, he's just a network engineer. What does he know about drilling through tough material? After a minute of applying the in and out method with the same DeWalt drill and Diablo bit, it quickly breaks through. The hole is done. The electrician is astounded. He has never had this happen. He is confused. The engineer gambled and he was right. The drill, the bit and the battery all performed as they should. And sometimes poor performance is due to environment, material or situation. This is why some of the YouTube tests seen only provide part of the picture, not the whole story. 
I know we all like to kid around on our brands that have failed us in the past, but be cool, guys. Sometimes it's the environment, it's the user, or other things that are causing that specific drill or item to fail. In my experience, this is what happens in real life and actually happened here. Sorry for the poor video, but I rushed to get my phone and record this because I wanted to tell this story. Unfortunately, this is how some out here begin to develop unfair attachments and hatreds to specific brands. The DeWalt was fine and did what it was designed to do. In my opinion, the bit got hot and couldn't cut anymore. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ed the Old Tech Guy telling you I love you and I'm signing out. Max, downshift slowly and put it in reverse. You gotta get that pipe out of there. Uh -oh.